the instrument should be placed in the environment whose temperature is between 20 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius with relative humidity ranges between 0 and 85 percent. Install the instrument in a ventilated position ensure that the suction and exhaust vents are unobstructed. Open the front door. Remove one of the test board rack on the left and pull out the wires in the door. Remove the protection sponge of float switch. Connect the inlet pipe connect external water via one half and quick coupling. The pressure of external water should be not more than 0.4 MPa BUV will consume near 0.7 liter water per minute when spraying so it's necessary to have enough external water till finish spraying. If the external water pressure is too small open the bottom front door. Empty all air in the pump before pumping water dismantle the screw and fill it up with water until it is full. Then tighten the screws again. Insert the appropriate diameter drain into the drain in order to drain off the water successfully ensure the height of the outfall should be lower than the cabinet outlet. Test panel installation open the front door take out the test panel rack. Remove the panel and the tension rings. Place the test panel on the rack with the test surface facing the lamp. Fix it with the tension ring. Put the test panel rack into the working room with the label facing up. After all the test boards are installed connect the power supply make sure the power supply is well grounded. Test program click to enter the program setting interface you can select the test program and set the test parameters. Parameter click to enter the system parameter interface you can set and debug the instrument system parameters and you need to operate under the guidance of professionals. Storage click to enter the data storage interface to view the instrument operating parameter data and export. Calibrate click to enter the calibration interface for a radiance and blackboard temperature calibration. Event click to enter the event interface to view the instrument alarm log. Channel 1234 display real-time irradiance values for four different location in the current studio. Program display the irradiance value set by the current running program the temperature value and the currently selected program number. Main component operation status display the current operation of hot fan spray water heat water level green means the part is working red means the part is not working. Temperature display indicates the current instrument water temperature and blackboard temperature value. Running status display current instrument operating status operating conditions and the time that this condition has been running. Past program time indicates the test has been run newest event current alarm information. Now set up a test which is divided into three working conditions the total test time is 500 hours. Click test program on the left menu the instrument can store up to 6 test programs each program can set up to 10 different working condition. Select program 1 on the left menu to modify it. Set the first condition click the green box after the work condition and select a radiance click the green box after segment time input period of 8 hours. Click the green box after a radiance input 0.76 with M2. Click the green box after BPT input 50 degrees Celsius then click save to save the setting. 
Set the second condition click the green box after segment input 2. Click the green box after the work condition and select spray. Click the green box after segment time input period of 15 minutes then click save to save the setting. Set the third condition click the green box after segment input 3 click the green box after the work condition and select condensate. Select the green box after the segment time input period of 3.75 hours select the green box after the BPT input 50 degree Celsius then click save to save the setting. Set termination segment click the green box after the segment input 4. Click the green box after the work condition and select stop then click save to save the setting. When the termination period is set the program will automatically jump back to the first segment and retest after the program runs to the segment the subsequent paragraph will not be executed even if there is a setting. Click preview to view the installed segment program to check if the program has been saved correctly. Return to the program setting interface enter the total running time of 500 hours program setup completed. Turn on the power switch and the touch screen lights up. Click anywhere on the screen to enter the main interface. Click test program on the left menu after click the screen to set up the test program. Click clear time to clear the total running time. Return to the operation interface click the button start to start the test the actual value of the irradiance and BPT will slowly rise to the set value if you need to pause the test in the middle click the button pause then click the pause to run again. If you need to stop the test click stop. When the test time reaches the set value the instrument will automatically stop the test take out the sample and turn off the power. Please pay attention to the following when replacing accessories operator must wear clean gloves. All power supplies external to the instrument must be cut off. Replacement for the xenon lamp recommended to replace every 1,500 hours. Open the left and right trapezoid side doors. Pull out the lamp holders of the lamps which need to be replaced at both ends. Don't touch lamp surface directly by hand. Because skin oil or other dirt come from hand would influence irradiance energy. Open the door panel, remove all sample trays. Wet the lamp's surface with a clean and wet cotton cloth to reduce friction push the lamp to either end with uniform power. Then take out lamps from another direction. Wet the lamp's surface with a clean and wet cotton cloth. Insert the new lamp 10 cm into the small hole on the end. and insert another end of lamp to the other hole of working room. Reinsert the lamp holders at both ends. Replacement for the irradiance sensors recommended to replace every 2500 hours. Pull out the sensor fast joint which need to be replaced. Take out a radiance sensor holder. 
the instrument has four radiance sensors 1-2 in the front door position and 3-4 in the rear door position. Loosen the screw which connects sensor with holder. Take out the sensor. Install a new sensor and relock the screw. Put the sensor holder back in the middle and connect the joint. When connecting the joint align the red marks on the connectors. Note that the joint needs to correspond to the sensor number. Replacement for the black panel When the black panel appears to fade significantly, take out the holder of black panel. Screw off the briquetting fixing thermometer. and replace a new black panel. Install the blackboard thermometer. Put the back to its original position. Replacement for the filter element when its color become dark brown. Turn off external water supply open the lower baffle. Screw off the filter cover by plastic wrench. Take out the filter element. Insert a new filter element tighten the cover. Note that if any water drop on the cabinet body please dry it in case of rust. Irradiance calibration put the irradiance calibrating holder into the working room. Put the radiometer sensor into the calibrating holder. When the radiometer sensor is placed next to a sensor if placed next to number 1 sensor it indicates that the calibration table is calibrated for the irradiance value of the number 1 sensor. Plug the calibration meter into the USB port on the back. Close the front door of the studio turn on the power of the instrument. Set the BPT to 50 degrees Celsius. Set the irradiance value to 0.76 with M2 then click save. Press button start to start the instrument. After the black panel temperature becomes stable need 10 minutes read the value shown on the radiometer about 10 minutes. Select the same type of reading as the lamp. Click calibration on the left of the screen into the calibration window click the login and input the login password BIUGED. Since we calibrate the irradiance value of the number 1 sensor click calibrate value after the BPT. Enter the value displayed in the radiometer into this cell. Click the button confirm the displayed value will immediately become the input value.
after the irradiance shows that the numerical reading is stable compare the difference between this value and the value displayed in the calibration table. If it is still too large enter the calibration value again and perform the calibration repeating it several times until the difference between the two is within 0.03 with M2. BPT calibration loosen the screws on the back of the BPT. Remove the black panel thermometer probe. Put a precise mercury thermometer which has been calibrated and the BPT together into a insulated cup with hot water. Recommended water temperature is 60 plus minus 10 degrees Celsius. Compare the mercury thermometer value with the instrument shown value if the difference is more than 0.5 degrees Celsius then calibrate the temperature. Click calibration on the left of the screen into the calibration window click the login and input the login password BIUGED. Click Calibrate Value after the BPT enter the value displayed in the mercury thermometer into this cell. Click the button Confirm the displayed value will immediately become the input value calibration completed. Thank you.